This is Svenja and today's video is about... Dynamics. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can vary your play and how you can create tension. Just pay attention to your playing. Do you adapt to the specific part of the song or to the mood? The term dynamics refers to getting louder or quieter, or also to getting faster or slower. Especially when you accompany a song with chords, it's much more interesting for the listener when you play some parts of the song quieter, like for example the bridge of a song where the other instruments play less or nothing before the last chorus, which is louder again. This all might sound simple to you, but in my opinion this topic is quite rarely addressed and very underestimated. Now I want to show you the principles of dynamics with a simple chord progression of G major and C and 9. Let's begin with an easy song accompaniment and I gradually get quieter. When you want to play quieter, it's helpful when you hold your pick more loose and when you change the angle a bit. So when you make down strokes, the tip of your pick points to your face and when you make up strokes, the tip of your pick points to the floor. You should choose a medium pick since it's more variable in volume. When you play finger style, you should play with your thumb, especially with the side of your thumb, the flesh. Also, you should pay attention that you hit the strings as soft as possible. And also, you don't have to hit all strings at once. It's enough when you hit two or three of the lower strings. As always, your wrist should be as loose as possible, since with relaxed muscles, you can hit the strings much softer. Of course, this also works the other way around and you can get louder. With both principles you should pay attention that you change the volume gradually. Now let's assume you are in the outro of a song and you want to gradually get slower. It also sounds really beautiful when you combine this with getting quieter. Here you should trust your feelings getting slower and don't rely on a metronome. When you play with your bandmates, mostly one of them starts getting slower and you can follow along. Of course this also works the other way around and you can get faster, like for example in the last chorus of a song.
pay attention that you don't get tense when getting faster and keep a relaxed and loose wrist. Of course, these principles also work with lead guitar, but I decided to show them with chords since then they get much clearer. Incorporate them into your playing and you will see how more lively and exciting it gets. As always, I'd appreciate a like and if you don't want to miss any new video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. Now I'd like to thank you for watching and until next time, keep moving.